Well, Oscar Sunday, it is here. Will the Joker dance away with a win, or will history be made with the youngest EGOT, that's Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony winner ever? And we're just hours away from finding out. Eyewitness News reporter Romina Puga live in Hollywood with a look at tonight's 92nd Annual Academy Awards. Good morning, Romina. Good morning, guys. And as they put those final touches on the red carpet here behind me, many are wondering who will go home with an Oscar statuette tonight. The red carpet is rolled out and ready. And tonight we'll find out who's taking home one of those coveted Oscars. The show is going hostless for the second year in a row, a format that raised viewership last year. Even though there's not a host this year, you can still expect there to be plenty of star power at the Oscars. There will have big name presenters, big name performers. It'll be a very, very Hollywood centric night. A historic night for some. I'm going to be free or die. Like Cynthia Revo, who would be the youngest EGOT winner, which stands for Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony, if she takes home an award. It's just so crazy, though. It's crazy. And, you know, it would be a huge honor. Um, I don't know what I will do if it happens. The pressure has been building for the nominees. The best supporting actor category this year is completely stacked with acting legends. Tom Hanks, Anthony Hopkins, Al Pacino, Joe Pesci, and the youngest in the group, Brad Pitt, all Hollywood veterans. Me an actor? No, I'm a stuntman. One film critic favorite, Laura Dern, has already taken home several other awards this season for her supporting actress role in Marriage Story. Part of what we're going to do together is tell your story. But will she also win that golden Oscar? And South Korean thriller Parasite, wowing audiences and critics alike with six nominations, likely to win Best Foreign Picture, but is also nominated for Best Picture, only the sixth film to ever be recognized in both categories. Every year, the show tries to cut down its runtime. This year, same drill. Winners only get 90 seconds to make their way to the stage and give their acceptance speeches. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.